What's up and welcome to another night of the Toyota Esports Challenge. We are here on the Toyota YouTube and Facebook pages every night this week at 8 p.m. as we move through our top 32. Of course, this whole competition started a couple of weeks ago where some of the best South African FIFA players battled it out in the group stages. 64 players in a round robin format and the top two in each group have moved forward to the top 32, which is happening right now. We have some wild cards as well. Your favorite celebrity are picking up the controller they're running onto the field and they're going to be battling it out with our FIFA players tonight we get to watch Heavy K take on Tibsa one of the top FIFA players in the country signed to one of the biggest organizations they are now going to battle it out live right here and of course it's all to play for because the winner of the Toyota Esports Challenge takes on that massive cash prize 50,000 Rand in their pocket. Remember when your mom told you that you couldn't make money from playing video games? Well, she was wrong. You can, and that's what's happening right now. We're now in the top 32. It is a knockout format. So what's gonna happen is all our players are gonna play one round and the winner will move forward to round number two. Each round has two games in it. So we're gonna see two games today and the total goal scored over those two games will determine who the winner is. So I think I'm, I'm getting the notification that we can go into games. So let's begin. Heavy K versus Tepsa. Of course, Heavy K, incredible producer, DJ. He gets straight out there. Look at that. He is, of course, playing as Bayern Munich. And on the other side, Tips is Liverpool. Liverpool is his favorite team to support in real life, he said to me. So he prefers playing as them. But of course, in FIFA 20, the stats of the real life footballers are brought into the game. The stats of the real life team. So Liverpool is doing really well in real life, which means on the field in FIFA 20, they're a decent team to play with. Interesting decision, though, from the side of Tebsa to go with Bayern Munich. Let's see how that plays out for him. You can see aggressive play right from the start. These guys moving fast on the field. I love this pace. This is exactly what we're talking about. This is what we want to see. This is always the really exciting one. So let's see how this goes down now. Tebs is super focused. He knows what he needs to do. Like I mentioned before, one of the top players actually started playing in 2017. And when he started playing, he immediately entered quite a big competition called the VS Gaming Champs. That was kind of what set FIFA onto the map in terms of South African esports. The prize pools there, ginormous. He finished third in that competition, was signed to a big organization, and is now pushing to play FIFA professionally. What's really interesting about Tebso as well, and something to keep in mind, is his actual day job. He's 24, and when I say day job, he is a professional footballer in real life. He plays for one of the smaller teams here in South Africa. So he's, he's taking that real life field experience into game. And you can see here, we've already watched this backwards and forwards, super fast, high paced action. I, I like the fact that we're also seeing Heavy K get involved here. He's, he's making sure that he can throw in as much as he can as well. So let's see how this goes. I have a funny feeling though, Tips are straight, there we go. Shot on goal right in the 14th minute of game very impressive play from him let's watch that recap no they're skipping that they want to jump straight on in there this is the thing about tapes that he's very fast so this is something that heavy k is going to have to keep in mind i haven't seen a lot on social as to whether heavy's been practicing or not but he is a big esports fan and a football fan so he'll know what he needs to do now i'm sure he's been putting the time in behind that controller though to make sure that, that he can do some magic here You can see if you watched yesterday where we had our two other players with, with Rouge and Riasat. There we go. Immediately going for that shot on goal. Riasat and, and Rouge it was a much slower game. The pace was a bit slower. But I think with Tebsa, you're going to expect the super fast, very quick passing happening. These guys back to back. This is a bit of a tennis match right now. We're just going from one goal to the other. These guys are ready to battle it out. That is what they want. And I think Tebsa is, is bringing the heat here. And you can see that. Watch how fast his pace is. And, and Heavy K is kind of battling to keep up with him, especially here in the midfield. And that makes it easier for him to run down straight into goal, which is what he's doing right now. Is he going to take another shot? Is that the plan here? Heavy K back in position. Lost it already. This is the thing about Tepsa. You're going to have to get up to his pace. You're going to have to move as fast as he moves. You can see his face super serious. He knows what needs to happen. He knows that he wants to get into that final. So he isn't going to slow down. He isn't going to take it easy on the sled. But Heavy K shot on goal there. He's, he's super serious about this. He knows what he wants to do.
There we go again. Setting it up. Heavy K understanding now that he needs to defend, getting more people in the back there, but Tebs are figuring it out. Nope, he loses possession there. This is the thing, if you can just defend heavy, then you may be able to stop that very aggressive attack from Tebsa, which we're seeing right now. And as I say that, of course, he's running it straight back up. So much speed in this young pro player. So much focus as well. You can see his face. Let's see what the ref call is there. And we're back into game. Let's go. Heavy K, come on, you got to take it up there. He's starting to pick up that pace. You can see he's getting a little bit faster. Is he going to set it up nicely? Nope. Takes that long shot. Just not good enough. Back into it. Let's go. Passing it down. All those names you can see there. You know them. You've seen them play. Here we go. Tevs is going back for goal. Is this going to be it? He's going to take that shot. No, he does a little fake there. Hits the post, unfortunately, and very quickly converts a second goal for Liverpool. Tevs a 2-0 up. Impressive play. You saw how fast the reaction was there. He went for goal, bounces it off the post, and straight away, he's right back in there. This is the difference between, say, you and I playing FIFA at home in comparison to these pro players. They are so fast. Their reaction time is so quick. You could see his face. He didn't even change perspective. His face didn't give away anything. Heavy K trying, though. He's not going to let this go. He needs to even this out. We're moving closer to half time in game. That's going to be sitting there. Possession evenly matched, sort of. 48, 58% uh, to Liverpool, but 42 to Heavy K. So it's not a complete runaway for Tepsa. But as I say that, he's going straight back in. And there you go. Another goal. 3-0. He is not going easy on the celeb. He is adamant that he is going to show exactly what got him here. What incredible play style from him. I said earlier he's 24. I'm actually incorrect. He's 21 years old. Does play football professionally. So the youngster knows. He's going again. Is this going to be another? And an, no, he was going to take that shot. Let's see how this corner goes for him. Sets it up, moves around, quick passing for him. There we go, another shot, and the goalie stops it. Good job, Heavy K. Didn't want to let that one in. Right, we hit half time. Heavy K has got to be feeling this. Liverpool 3 0 up. That means Tepsa is 3 0 up. I'm sure Heavy K is, is sitting there now thinking, right, how do we change this? And I'll tell you how he changes it. He's got to speed up. He's got to be faster than Tepsa, which is difficult because you saw how quickly Tebs is able to move that ball around, how very quickly he's able to read the situation. We saw that in that goal that bounced off the goals and he very quickly converted. He's back at it. This pace is extremely fast. Tips are, he is, he's just running it up. There we go again. He's going again. Is he going to go for it? He's going for another shot on goal. He takes it, chips it over, but the goalkeeper is able to stop it. Heavy K quickly grabbing position, sending it right back. This is an impressive performance from our FIFA Pro. But also, I have to give a shout out to the celeb. I mean, our, our producer, DJ, he's holding his own. And I can't imagine that this is easy. I think until you played at this speed, you don't quite understand how difficult it is. Look at that. He's, he's still going for it. Takes a little shot on goal, but not quite enough. Caught by the goalkeeper there. We're back into the action. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Come on, Heavy K. you got to take it up. You can do this. Tepsa, though, he's running it through. He's setting up again. No time wasted here. Is he going to take that shot? Up, oh, does a little fake there. Sends it up, but doesn't have a player in the mix. Heavy K able to defend that and send it right back. Really enjoying the speed at which we're playing this. Let's go. Heavy K, can you net a goal? This is what we want to see. We want to see you drop something in the back of that net. You still have a chance. 3-0 currently. There are two games. You can even it out. This is the big thing. Tepsa says, no, there'll be no evening out. I'm going to take this right back to where I need to go. If I make my lead big enough, then we won't have to worry in the second game. I can give you some tips. Here we go again, running it up. Is he going to take the shot? He does, and it's in. Look at that. 4-0 to Liverpool, 60 minutes in game. This is an impressive performance from Tepsa. He does not want anyone 
to underestimate him. I did chat to him a little bit before the game and he said, you know, it's a 50-50 chance on the day with FIFA. That's how it works. There's a very good chance that he may not win. He didn't know what heavy case style was, but he said it was really important to him that he performed as best as he possibly could. He also mentioned some of the players that, that he's most uh, concerned about in the competition, the ones that he thinks could potentially be the biggest competition for him as he tries to get into that first base spot. Takes another shot, and there it is. 5-0. No. Heavy K, you've got to take a step back. You've got to reset. You need to slow this down. At the moment, Tepsa is controlling the field. You need to slow him down. You need to bring him to your pace. You, I, I say that, and as I say it, Tepsa takes it again, running up. 5-0 to Tebsa, 5-0 to Liverpool. Let's see how this goes. Remember the stats of the players are, are pulled from real life into the game. And as I say that Tebsa, another shot, oh, just misses it. Let's see how this corner goes for him. We've seen him do this before, he's really good at the setup. He's not able to do it there. Enough people from Heavy K back in there. Like I mentioned, they bring the stats in of the players and your favorite teams. Tepsa plays with Liverpool. He says it is his favorite team in real life. I mentioned this earlier. Obviously, Liverpool's been having a, a really incredible run as well in real life, so that helps with your stats. Takes another shot and back of the net. This disgusting play from Tepsa. 6 0 to Liverpool. Heavy K, you can see. Bayern Munich kind of just, he's hes not feeling it right now. He's, he's kind of, I'm sure, starting to go, how do we fix this? He's got to, he's got to try and control Tebs' ball control. That's, I mean, we spoke about possession earlier, but I have no doubt if I see those stats again, that the possession is going to speak very differently now. But here we go, Heavy, uh, Heavy K just not able to stop him. Tebs is too fast. He's just too fast. That's that's what this is coming down to. We're seeing an, an expert example, a professional FIFA player. Back on goal. Is he really going to try this again? Another goal? Is this the plan, Tepsa? Be forgiving, my friend. This is hard to watch. Okay, let's see how this, this one pans out here. Of course, I do think it is important to highlight the fact that our celebrities are playing against players. Like I said, Tepsa signed to one of the biggest FIFA organizations in the country. Uh, he is a sponsored athlete. Uh, this is what he does uh, outside of playing professional football in real life. So so he's he's playing real football on the field every day and coming home and playing on the PlayStation. He's, he's eating and breathing and living this. Of course, if you had to put him behind the decks, I'm sure that Heavy K would destroy him. But for Heavy K, this is more of a casual thing. So possibly possibly a good understanding of what it takes to be a pro FIFA player and what it takes to win, ultimately try win that 50,000 Rand cash prize. There we go, he's trying again. Heavy K, really good defense there. Uh, kept, just kept a lot of guys in the box. That was the thing, just have as many feet as you can in the box and kick crazy and, and that might work. Heavy K going for a little run again, Tepsa. Oh, let's see what the ref calls on that. Tepsa back in control. Here we go. Is he going to try two extra minutes? Do you think he's going to try and, and net a seventh goal before the game comes to an end? I wonder if, if that's what the... And he is going to do it. Uh, but Heavy K says, no, no, no. We've had enough now. Six is enough. You stop that. First game complete. 6-0 to Liverpool. Tepsa in a masterclass in how to play FIFA 20. This is such a good example. If you're watching in the chat, let me explain what, what's so good about this particular game. Is that what, what you were able to see there was the pace at which these pro players play at. Very, very fast. You saw very quick passing. And, and always making sure that he could set up and he had the right people. Also his reaction time, super fast. That is something that you saw there when he took that corner, hit the bulb of goalpost, jumped right back up, immediately had someone there and was ready to go. This is something that's, that happens and that you see a lot of. We're now moving into the second game. Of course, Heavy K has an opportunity to pull it back. It is a goal difference. We saw him as Bayern Munich. We saw Tepsa as Liverpool. Tepsa is now going to choose his team. I'll be curious to find out 
if he sticks with Liverpool, I know this is his favorite team, and you can see there that that's exactly what he's going to do. I presume that was the route he's going to go. But now I'm interested, is Heavy K going to stick with Bayern, or is he going to change it up? Remember, thinking about stats, this is what's really important, is you need to go, okay, what sort of stats should we be looking at? He may want more of a defensive team. In my opinion, that may be something that he'd want to go look at. Uh, and he is a football fan, so he knows football. Maybe he needs to think a little bit more about the team, and I can see that he is changing it up. I, I figured that he would uh, he would go this route. So let's see, what is his decision going to be? What's his answer to this insane Liverpool play that we're seeing from Tebza? Heavy K, this is your opportunity. You're going to have to pull back six goals in the next round. Can you do it? That is the, the question. Let's see, having a little think there. Trying to decide where he wants to go. Still deciding. I think I have an idea of, of where he might want to hit you. This is, yeah. I thought that was coming. So there you go. PSG, that's his answer. Interesting one. I don't know if this is the solution. Um, and again, if, if you're a football fan, you'll, you'll have an understanding. I'm not 100% sure if PSG was the right call here. But... I feel like he should have gone for something much more defensive, but but so be it, if, if that's his call. I do think that the Barcelona-Liverpool matchup is always a good one. I, maybe that would have been more my choice, but again, I'm not a pro FIFA player, and I'm not in the competition. So my opinion actually doesn't matter. I'm just here to commentate. Here we go, moving into the second game. A change of team for Heavy K. Tips are sticking with Liverpool. Let's see how this goes. Now, of course, interestingly enough, you saw in that first game, Tebs are just dominating on, on the goals. He's actually in the group stages of the Toyota Esports Challenge. He was the, the player that scored the most goals out of 64 players. 48 goals in the group stages. And here he goes again. Is he, is he immediately going to start out? You can see getting a feel. I, I'm still curious as to whether this PSG decision is going to work in the favor of Heavy K. Is this the answer to Liverpool? Let's see. There's a little chip there. Able to stop it. Good job, Heavy K. Starting off strong there with the defense. This would have been my solution to Tepsa as well, is make sure that you just get as much of your bodies back into the box. Defend, defend, defend. That's the way to shut this guy down. He's so fast. Is that a goal? Did that just bounce off the... Did it bounce off the frame? Is it called? It is called. Wow, tips a lucky shot there. Heavy K's going to be feeling that. That's a little bit of a hard knock to take. Bit of pull to swallow so early in the game. He was defending so well. Tips are able to, to bounce it off the frame there and get it over the line. He's going to be feeling good. This is what you kind of want, though. You always want to start on the goal on the goal sheet. You kind of want to be the first one because it just gives you a little bit of momentum. It gives you a little bit of confidence. I'm sure he's feeling a lot of confidence after that first game. So he's got to be feeling good about this. And here we go again. Heavy K saying, you know what, I, I'll give it a bit of a run there. But Tips are controlling this a lot. Just getting a really good feel for what needs to happen. Running up again. Is he going to go for that shot? Sets it up nicely. Sees the run there. Takes the shot. Heavy K able to stop it. Good job. But now this corner. This is always dangerous when Tips is playing. We saw this earlier. He knows how to set this up. He does just that. Has a little bit of a fiddle there. But Heavy K again. Got those bodies back. This is what you need to do. This is how you need to stop it. Now run it. You just got to run it. In my in my opinion, I'd run it up the wings. I'd push it out there. Uh, and just move as fast as you can back. So lots of defense. But then be ready to move as fast as you can forward. You've got to control Tebs somehow. And defense is the only way I'm saying that. Here he goes. He's taking another shot. Just misses it. That corner again. Such a dangerous place to let this player play. You don't really want him to get those shots on goal. You kind of want to keep him out of this box, even if you've got to play that midfield game. Heavy K doing a good job of defense, though. He's, he's figured out that that's the answer to this, is just keep it back. Keep it back. Defend. Defend. Goal able to stop it. Tips is control on the side of the field, though. I mean, we're spending the majority of the game in this box i mean that's that's where the ball is sitting tips is making sure that it's always going back there the problem with that is when you've got that constant pressure on you so he's constantly attacking constantly going at you constantly going at you it's really easy to then make mistakes you've got to be super focused we always say oh, it's just a video game but it requires a huge amount of focus right now to constantly be able to defend a player this fast and a player that's able to read the game as quickly as tipsa is 
And we see that again now. He's going back at it. Another attack from him. The professional player is here to show everyone exactly what he can do. KVK has got to think of something now. He's got to figure out a game plan. I think this is the big thing is we forget about strategy sometimes. We pick up a controller, we just start bashing buttons, but we forget that what's really important is to kind of take a step back and say, okay, what is it that I can do to make this better for me? What is the type of strategy that I can put in place that I can kind of slow this down? Defense is a strategy, but, but there needs to be more. You need to figure out how you're going to get the ball back. Heavy K now. There we go. I mean, there was a potential opportunity there. There we go. He's kept the position. He can run it up, chips it forward, but not quite enough. Again, just losing out in that midfield. Tepsa takes it back. Now we see, again, that set up for goal. Tepsa doing just that. Takes another shot, misses it. Lucky for, for Heavy K, maybe. Um, but he just needs to, to move. I think defend but then have some sort of strategy here in the midfield because this is where he loses possession of the ball is always around this point and i think it's because he doesn't know quite exactly what he needs to do i say that but now it looks looking good for him kicks it straight into the liverpool defender and it's back on the attack for tepsa Godi's gonna run out and grab that one gives it a, a quick shove away Here we go again Possession definitely, I think, in the favor of Tebs in this game. It was a bit more even at the start in the first half of the, of the first game. But here, very clearly owning the ball, owning the field. Tebs has just got this all set up. And he sets it up again, sends it over the goals. Unfortunate, but you can see he's just having so many of those opportunities to take a shot. Heavy K needs to stop that. I'd also like to see Heavy Gay score a goal. I want to see at least one celebrity during this tournament do some damage. That's that's what we're all hoping for, is that big surprise where uh, a DJ producer or rapper or, or whoever suddenly comes in and just annihilates and we have a new esports FIFA star. That's kind of what we all want. So, so I'm hoping that Heavy K can turn this around. I think he's got a mountain to climb though. We're about to reach the end of the first half of the first game. He hasn't been able to equalize this yet. In the back of his mind will also be those goals that Tebs has scored in the first game because he's going to have to make those up because this will come down over the two rounds to the goal difference. So ultimately what you kind of want is, is to make sure you can net some goals. And I think Heavy K is just really struggling to get a read on Tebs. Kicks it out. We've got two minutes additional time in this half. So two minutes more to just keep him out. Good job, Heavy K, doing just that. And now we move to the second half. Tebso, of course, has that goal in hand. That's that's good for him. He's got that 1-0 lead. He knows that he's coming out of a victory from the first game. Heavy K now knows that he has 45 minutes in game to make a difference. This is a lot of pressure. There are a lot of goals that he has to make up. And straight away, Tebso goes for the attack. This is the style we expect. Takes a shot on goal. Oh, uh, just flicks off the goalkeeper's hands there he's going back at it though i feel like now he knows he's like this is the second half now you will now we will teach you who the real monster is and i will finish this game once and for all that's what it's starting to look like and again we may have swapped sides but he's still just constantly got the ball in his half up here where he can score goals heavy k has no answer in the midfield i said it earlier i'm saying it again you can see it now he's only got Sort of his three players up there and just not enough, I think, to make a difference. But I say that he takes a shot just a little bit far off. Should have maybe run a little bit more into the box just to get a little bit closer. Loses the, the ball now, jumps straight back in. But I think he's now given Tips an opportunity to move his players back. And this is the thing, you've got to catch Tips by surprise. You've got to change it up a little bit. Either be super defensive or just get going as fast as possible which will, will kind of not give him time to get into it you see this with tepsa so so give him a watch when when his set pieces happen the way that he moves extremely fast he doesn't waste time he doesn't think about it he knows exactly what he's going to do he's decided that before he even plays heavy care going for a little bit of a, a push here not quite enough i think this is the thing about the, the speed that these pro players are able to play at and this is what if you want to beat them you've either got to be faster or you've got to figure out a way to stop it Another shot, another save from the goalie. Let's see how this corner goes now. Figuring out, I think, Tebs are how to get around all these players that Heavy K has thrown in there. 
lots of backwards and forwards there. Good, like I said, good defense. It is a strategy. Get as many bodies as you can back. It's working in Heavy K's favor. And here we go again. Tips are just setting it up nice and slow. Takes a shot straight into the hands of the goalie. Nicely done, Heavy K. Passes it back out straight into the feet of Liverpool again. And here we go, another shot, and it hits the back of the net. Tebza, 2-0 up. Liverpool in the lead on the 65th minute. Wow. You hear the in-game commentators there. It's like a real football game. The crowd cheering, heavy K. Take their energy, friend. Use that. Figure out what you're going to do here. Tebza, I worry. You've given him the second goal. I think that this could be opening the floodgates for this player once he's on that momentum it's really hard to shut him down and as i say that he goes for it again passes it across is he gonna set it up no heavy cases no 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 momentum for you i will slow i'll slow this beat right down we're gonna slow it down we're gonna smooth it down not enough though tips there's a fight i imagine if these were two turntables i know nothing about dj i'm trying to do this so that we can compare to heavy case dj career but i can't so let's not let's just watch this game another kick just off the pole there the goalie getting his fingers in the way as well that was helpful sets it up again takes a shot and back of the net again i warned you about the momentum you saw it in action there three nil to liverpool the moment Tepsa gets rolling, he's just like a freight train. There's no stopping him. Heavy K, you gotta, you got to figure out something. you got to pull the plug on this guy. You've got to shut him down. How are you going to do that? That is the question that I'm going to keep asking because I'm actually not sure anymore. The more I watch this, I can't really see it. I think Tepsa is just showing his skill. And I also think, again, again, another one, another one. Oh, wow. 4-0 no to Liverpool. We're going to do the another one thing for a while, maybe. This is this momentum. I think that what's important here to see, and, and what I kind of want to pull your focus to, is I think, and I maybe, another one? No. Another one? Another one? Tepsa, you are disgusting. Look at that play. Just dominating performance just again and again i'm starting to feel like this has less to do about playing heavy k who he now knows without a doubt in my mind he's beaten if this is more an example obviously coming out of the group stages as the highest goal scorer and now playing in this round of the the top 32 is this not tips are trying to say to all his competitors all the other players watching hey pay attention i'm here I'm serious about this. I want that 50,000 Rand cash prize. This is what I'm aiming for. Is this maybe him doing just that, showing them that he takes no prisoners? Even the celebrities, they don't get a break. He is ready to just crack on. Maybe that's what he's doing. I did chat to him before the game, and, and he mentioned to me the two players that he was maybe most concerned of in the competition, Anfaz and Shia, because they're his biggest competition. He was very, he's a, he's a man of little words. He, he kind of says what he, what he wants to say, and that's it. And he was, he was very excited to be playing in the competition, very excited to play Heavy K. Actually said to me that he was quite nervous. But you're not seeing those nerves now. Again, again, another one, 6-0. This is just, this is just a masterclass in how to take complete game control. And Tebs has got it. Like I said, he actually said to me he was quite nervous about playing heavy K. Because it's hard when you play, I think, the celebrities. I mean, a lot of these pro players, they play each other in numerous tournaments. They have an idea of each other's style. They have an idea of each other's play. When you're playing up against someone like heavy K, you've never seen him play before. You're not 100% sure what he's going to bring to the table. Tebs has read him really fast, though. So as much as he says he's nervous, another one? No, not another one. Another one. Oh, sides, maybe? Oh. Not 100% sure that that is another one. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think my call's right there. That is not another one. Heavy K. Deep sigh of relief. This is just... There's two ways to go here. Masterful from Tepsa. But no doubt, Heavy K has got to be feeling that. What impressive performance from our pro FIFA player. 
Heavy K is going to have to go back. I think he needs to, to pack the turntables away. And he's, he's going to have to spend a little bit more time behind his controller. Tepsa, though, I think that what this really was, and, and the thing that we need to chat about, this was Tepsa standing up saying, hey, everyone in this competition, pay attention. Pay attention to me. I'm here to win it. This is what I think we just saw, and we need to keep an eye on him. He's now moved through to the next round. Of course, all these players competing to make it through to the final eight and ultimately win the Toyota Esports Challenge because if they win, they take home 50,000 Rand in cash. That is what is up for grabs. The best South African FIFA players want that money in their back pockets. My name is Tekel. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you've learned a little bit more about the players and I hope that you're more invested in the competition moving forward. This is really exciting. This is what I live for and I'm hoping that you do too. Find your favorite pro player, get behind them, support them. And if you want to keep up to date with all the action, make sure that you're following Toyota on social media. They'll be keeping you up to date. And of course, the next two days, we are going to be back with more celebrity matchups against our pro players every night, 8 p.m. on the Toyota YouTube and Facebook pages. I'm not going to be commentating tomorrow, but I'm definitely jumping into the chat. So I'll be here throwing some bants with you. Thank you so much for watching. Congratulations again, Tebs. I'm actually going to go and phone him now and just say, dude, disgusting. That was just insane. Also, give me lessons. That's what I'm going to do. We'll see you tomorrow.